hello everyone uh, today we see about um, hypernet okay so what is hypernet so it is advanced concept uh, if you are uh, understanding of um, how the web application what is the client server what is the database connections okay if you are understanding the concept clear the hypernet learning of hypernet is useful okay so unless the, how the database connection is happening to a job or, or a OJDBC, okay, we can't uh, learn the hyperdata data because hyper is a framework to simplify the development of Java application to interact with the database. Okay. As of now, the hyper data is for the Java applications, it has a Java code owns. How the Java in interact with the database to fetch the record, okay, using the OJ is ACP. Okay, we should learn about it and then we came for the hypernet, it will be easy to understand because it is basically depending upon a database. So uh, how does uh, happen in the database? How it is helpful for database means hypernet is open source and lightweight. Obviously, it is open source and lightweight because it uses about job over there. So it is an object relational mapping tool. What does it mean object relational mapping tool means? Uh, if a Java application is using a database called MySQL, okay, if we are we are writing query for a MySQL in a Java programming to communicate with the MySQL server. Okay. If after a while I want to change the database into Oracle, I have to change the coding in the Java. So this makes the you know, complexity and the developments and maintenance will make complexity. In order to customize and configurable database where I can able to connect with any database. So I have used for hypernet frameworks. The hypernet framework is used to uh, connect with any database is configurable. Okay. So what is the advantage? We can discuss more uh, advantage in hypernet call. It's open source and lightweight. Obviously it is open source and hypernet lightweight. And the performance is very good. Okay. This is called database independent query. We call this no query no SQL. Okay. So it is automatic table creations. Well, if you don't have the database, no problems. You will not throw any error. It will create the table automatically, which is you specified name. Simplified complex joint. Oh, okay. This is where we uh, we have we have joint query. It will be more simplified in a hypernet. It provides a query statistics and state database. Okay, you can have uh, how the database. Okay, how much storage? Where it is have the storage or not? It will give the information. Using that information, you can put it on the site. These are some of the jar we are using in the hypernet. Okay, so we need a jar over there, so we need to make a uh, build a customized applications. As plus we have an architectures. This is the basic overview of an architectures. Whereas um, the applications works on the top of the uh, layer. The present object will be there, like your Java program will be there. Then the object will communicate with the hypernet object the interact on mapping the files mapping files we have provided and configuration also we have provided because the username password on the what database we will be providing the xml format okay that xml format will be read by the hypernet jar and make the understanding and according to that the query will be formed okay so it has a vast collection of uh, database software queries so it will be uh, converted the query into uh, suitable uh, database connection. Okay. This will be so. Then it will connect to the database. So if you change in the database, it's not a problem in the hypernet application. It will easily communicate with the database. Okay. So I'll be the, uh, knowing that hypernet will be more discussion part. And this tutorial will have some introduction. So you can see the more videos on the next tutorial. So you keep learning in the advanced topic. Okay. It will more help you in the futures. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.